Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to set up Coiled. Coiled tries to make the cloud really easy, and part of that is a setup process. It's going to be pretty easy to do. It'll take us a couple minutes to do together. Uh, I'm going to sign up for, for Coiled. I'll use Google in this case, but you can create using a password or use GitHub. Uh, I'm making my account. Um, then I've got to set up authentication in two levels. First, I'm going to have to authenticate my computer so Coiled knows about my computer. And then second, I need to connect Coiled to my cloud account. Remember that Coiled runs inside of my cloud account. So uh, first things first, I'm going to uh, pip install Coiled, and I'll install some DAS libraries as well. I'll press Enter. And this is just pip installing things. You've probably done these before. If you haven't, Coiled might not be for you. It's for sort of Python people usually. Second, I'm going to run Coiled login. And this is going to create an API token on my computer and share that API token with Coiled. Um, I'm going to verify that this code is the same as this code. It is. Great. I'm going to authorize. Excellent. Um, I'm going to close this tab. And what that means now is that my computer has an API token uh, sitting in this file that it will use to, to ask Coiled for things. So Coiled and my computer now trust each other. Okay, step one is done. Hopefully that was easy. Step two is a little bit more complex. We are going to uh, grant coiled access to operate on our behalf inside of our cloud account. I'm gonna hit begin setup. Uh, I'm gonna use AWS, although you can use with GCP as well. A um, Couple things to note. We are going to be granting coiled access to operate inside of your cloud account. You're gonna need to have cloud credentials to do this. Uh, so a couple of things to make you feel more assured, uh, more safe. Um, we're not going to create any resources that cost you money at this stage. So you can do these steps, totally forget about us. You'll never get a bill in the future. Uh, we also won't be granting coiled access to any data resources that you have. Hopefully it also makes you feel safe. Mostly we're giving coiled the ability to do things like create and destroy EC2 instances or create and destroy networking resources everything we need to set up infrastructure for us to do some computation, but again, not look at data. So there's some links here you can look at if you're curious about that for more, we'll hit next, and we're good. We're going ahead to ready to connect to AWS. We're gonna use a technology called CloudFormation. It's okay, you don't need to know anything about it, uh, but it's sort of it's pointing at us the two steps we need to do here. Check that checkbox and hit Create Stack. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that. It's gonna take me to my AWS cloud console. I honestly don't spend a whole lot of time here. This whole space is a little bit scary to me, but that's okay. I saw it in the video, I've gotta press this checkbox and then press, I should get out of here the way, this button down here. Uh, and that's gonna go ahead, that's gonna set up some roles, some resources for Coiled that it can use. That's gonna take a minute, but we're actually done with this page for now. We're done with the AWS Cloud Console. We can go back now to the Coiled, Coiled UI. Uh, Coiled's gonna wait for us, it's gonna wait for Amazon as Amazon is setting up those resources. And we're just gonna wait here for about a minute. That's about how long it takes. Uh, after this is done, by the way, we are finished. This is like everything we had to do. Um, yeah, honestly, I gotta like, vamp here a little bit while Amazon does its thing. It did its thing, fantastic. Okay, um, and so we're good. I'm gonna hit next. Um, so it has created some infrastructure for us, which is great. Uh, it's prompting me now to add a region. Um, this should be your default region you do most of your computation in. It actually doesn't matter what you do. Coiled will create new regions on the fly for you if you need them. But a lot of people do a lot of computation in US East 1. I'm gonna select that. Uh, I'm gonna hit just create a couple of things you could choose here. You can change default region. If you've got more complex or sophisticated networking constraints, you might wanna do non-coiled managed things and you can put in more complex things like custom VPC. If this stuff scares you, don't worry about it. Choose the coiled manage option and hit create. This takes again, you know, a few seconds um, and everything should be done now. Hurrah, we're finished. So we're done. Uh, Coiled is now set up. So again, Coiled and my computer trust each other because I've set up that API token. And Coiled and the cl my cloud account now trust each other. So I've got this nice chain of trust from my laptop to Coiled to my cloud account. 
And that's, that's great, that's what I want. And so now I can think about how to use coiled, how do I can use it to actually do real work. Uh, the first computation we recommend is this hello world example. Uh, so you might run on your computer echo hello world. This is just a program that runs on your computer that prints out whatever you tell it to print. And instead we're gonna run coiled run echo hello world. And what that does is that scans your computer, picks out all of your software packages, it creates a VM in the cloud with those same software environment, uh, and it runs the Hello World program, um, and it shuts down that VM. So simple up application, it'll take about a minute. I'm honestly not gonna wait for that to finish. Um, but if you want, you can go and you can see on the dashboard that it's gonna start up over here. Um, once you've run that, you might wanna try some of these other common easy APIs. There's a serverless function API, you can create a Python function, annotate it with a decorator, and you can, uh, when you run that function, it'll run it on a machine in the cloud. Uh, you can look at creating DAS clusters. Coil was created originally for DAS clusters. They can do all sorts of very sophisticated things. Or Jupyter Notebooks. If you want a notebook that looks like the same environment you have locally, running in the cloud, I want to try that. So um, that's it. Yeah, that's Coiled. Hopefully that setup process was pretty easy for you. Um, couple things to note. If you got a team invite, you probably didn't have to do this second step, connect to your cloud. Someone in your organization or some other organization that was inviting you to a team may have already done that for you. In that case, you might want to make sure that you are in the right workspace. Uh, that's over here. Um, you might want to go look at adding teammates. So after you have uh, done all this work of setting up uh, the cloud, getting an API token, you might want to invite people to your team um, so that they can use the same cloud account that you've set up. Uh, you might want to look at things like billing once you do a little bit more work. So again, hopefully that was useful to you. Play around with some APIs, and when you're ready, maybe also go to the docs at docs.coil.io, and there's lots of information here, lots of fun examples of things that you can do with Coiled that might speak to you. So that's it. Thanks so much for your time. Cheers.